guys welcome back to the civil engineering youtube channel please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos today our lecture is about the difference between the axial and transverse loading first of all i will define these two types of the loading and then i will explain with example so the axial loading So you can see here the definition of these two types of the loading. Axial loading can be defined as the loading x along the length of the member. While the transverse loading, transverse loading is the loading acting perpendicular to the axial loading. This is called the transverse loading. Now if I take an example of column, let's consider that this is in a column having a flex support at the bottom. So this is the length of the column, right? The column is standing. And we can see this is the length of the column. So when the load x along the length of the member, load loading x along the length of the member, for example, this is load considered in P, and this is x along the length of the member, this is the length, or we can say along the axis of the member. So we call this type of the loading is the axial loading. Now this is, is called as the axial load. Similarly, if I take an example of beam, let's suppose. Uh, this is in a beam, simply supported beam. So this is the axis of the beam. So when the load acts along the axis of the beam, let's suppose this is another load if acting along the axis of the beam, or we call the along the length L of the beam. So this load is known as the axial load. Why the transverse loading is that loading which load acts perpendicular to the axial loading. Similarly, if you consider this is a column, so the Loading x perpendicular to the axial loading will be transverse load. So let's consider the load x on the column is in the perpendicular direction making an angle of 90 degree with the axial loading. This angle is 90. So we call this type of the loading now is the transverse loading. Because this load x perpendicular to the axis of the beam, axis of the column here, transverse loading. And it, it may be of lateral load like the uh, wind load or the seismic load in case of the column. So here if we consider the beam, so the load will act perpendicular to the axial loading. For example, uh, in case of the beam, this load will be perpendicular to the uh, axial load, here making of 90 degree with the axial load or making an angle of 90 degree with the axis of the beam. So we call this type of the loading as the transverse loading because it acts perpendicular to the, uh, the length of the beam. So we call this step of the loading is the transverse loading on the beam. It uh, this load uh, may be of uniformly distributed load or a pointed load, but uh, the main uh, difference is that in case of the axial, the load always acts along the axis of the member. Axis. The axis is a derived word from the axial. So along the axis of the load, member we call is the axial loading, while the load which acts in a transverse direction of the beam, or we can say in a perpendicular direction to the axis of the beam. It's called transverse loading. Hope you guys understand the main difference between the axial and transverse loading. And don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching my video.